This video is going to cover the lesson practice number one for set one in this set of notes. And the instructions read, perform the following calculations on the home screen, do not round. And what we are going to do is we're going to type each of these expressions into our calculator exactly how they appear on the paper. So let's start with the first one. We have three, and then we have a parenthesis. and then we have 2 plus 7 inside the parentheses and I'm going to close the parentheses right there minus and then parentheses 9 divided by 3 and I'm going to hit enter and so my answer for this first one is 24 so let me write that down alright let's go to our next one and we have 8 plus 2 minus 6 minus, and then we have parentheses, 3 times 2. I'm going to close my parentheses there. And I'm going to hit enter. And this comes out to negative 2. So let me write my answer down there. And our last one for this set. We have negative 4. Now, for this negative, I'm going to use this key down here that has the parenthesis and the negative inside of it. This is your negative sign. Now, this is different from the subtraction sign that we've been using on these other problems. And so let's complete this. We have parenthesis 6, and now I'm going to use the subtraction sign for 12, minus 12. And you'll see there's a difference between the keys. This is the parenthesis with the little negative sign in there. And then we have the subtraction sign up here. And then you also see the difference on the screen, too. It's, it's a little bit smaller than the subtraction sign here. And one common mistake is that students will mix these two up. And you just gotta kind of have to get used to it. And let's finish this. Divided by 9. And then we're going to hit Enter. And this one came out to a decimal. It looks like it's 0.6 repeating. And what happens here with the calculator, see the 7? The calculator cannot show any more decimals, so what it did is it rounded this last digit. So this 0.6 is repeating. And so we're not going to round this in our answer. We are going to write it as 0.6 with the bar over it, the repeating. And that signifies that this 6 is repeating. So go ahead and complete your lesson practice number two for this set of notes and practice number three. This section of the video is going to focus on lesson practice number one from set two in this section of the notes. And the instructions read, perform the following calculations on the home screen. And in this section, we are practicing raising numbers to a certain exponent. So to do this, we're going to take the two and we're going to raise it to the power of two and we're going to use that x squared key which is right above the log key so I'm just going to hit the x squared key and I have 2 squared on my calculator and hit enter and we see that our answer is 4 so now when we go to do 2 to the 8th power we need to enter the 2 in first and we're not going to use this x squared key because this only raises a number to the power of 2 we're going to use this caret key which is right above the division symbol and then we're going to type in the power that we want and it's 8 so 2 to the 8th is going to equal 256. And then we have 3 squared, and I'm going to go back to using the x squared key on that one. So I have 3 squared, enter, and that's equal to 9. And then I have 3 to the 6, so I have to use the caret key on this one. So we have 3, press the caret key to the 6th power, hit enter, and we have 729. So, I'm going to write the answers down here. So, this was 4. This was 256. 3 squared was 9. And 3 to the 6th power was 729. So, go ahead and do your lesson practice number 2.